back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be creating a makeup tutorial. You guys have been requesting for a makeup tutorial and I just received this palette in the mail. It is the new Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette. And if you guys already know, I love the previous Rose Gold Palette. I don't know why she needed to remaster it because in my opinion, it was really, really good. But she remastered it and I received it and I was just like, you know what? I need to create a tutorial with this right away. So, and I want to do something bronzy because I've already created a Rose Gold kind of tutorial using the previous one. So in this one, I want to do something gold and bronze and just new neutral and just something wearable something that she can wear to parties to you know it's my tutorial it's definitely gonna be dramatic but yeah something delicious and bronzy and chocolatey so let's move on with the tutorial so I have absolutely nothing on my face, not even skincare. I'm gonna do it all on camera. So I'm gonna be using my face shop, Yevadam Pure Brightening Toner. It is one of my favorite toners right now. Great for those of you that have dry skin, those of you that are looking for a great night toner that you wanna use at night, of course. So I'm just gonna apply it all over my face. It is so moisturizing and it's definitely quite brightening. I just applied a sheet mask as well before I started this video because I just love sheet masks. They're so easy and convenient to use and I love masking. And if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you know that I've been masking every single day for a week and I love what it has done to my skin. You can see it looks a lot more even toned. It's quite glowy. And of course, my skincare has been helping a lot. Now I'm gonna use my Body Shop Drops of Light Brightening Serum. I just like taking about four drops and just pat it into my skin. Now for my moisturizer, I'm gonna be using my current favorite moisturizer. This is the Face Shop White Seed Blank Clouding Moisture Cream. I love the texture of this. It feels so light, but it's so moisturizing. Great for those of you, again, that have dry skin. And if you have oily skin, I recommend you use it as a night cream. So I'm just gonna massage this into my skin. Don't forget your neck, you guys. And you always want to massage in upward motions because gravity is already pulling everything down and you want everything to look firm and lifted. So just give yourself a nice massage and lift everything back up. And now for my eye cream, I'm going to be using the Innisfree Orchid Eye Cream. I love this so much. I've been using this for so long. You can see all the writing has rubbed off. It's currently one of my favorite eye creams. So I'm just going to take... A little teeny bit of that on my ring finger and you just want to pat it under the eyes. Now as you can see my skin is pretty well prepped for makeup and I'm just going to take MAC Fix Plus and spritz it on my face for an added boost of moisture. I think prepping my skin for makeup is definitely just one of my favorite things and it is so important to prep your skin well before you do your makeup because that is how your makeup will look better and last longer. Okay, now that all of that has settled into my skin, let's move on to the actual makeup. For primer, I'm going to use the Revlon Photo Ready Primer. I've used this a few times. It is really nice. Definitely fills in the pores. Whenever you squirt it, you just want to squirt a little bit of it off first because it becomes hard because of the air. So you just wanna squirt a little bit off and then apply the rest on your face. So as you can see, it's quite mattifying. My T-zone is completely matte. My pores are smooth. I'm also gonna take the Pack Studio Finish Primer Oil. Just take around, again, four drops. And I'm just gonna apply it along the outside area of my face, sides of my face, because I want that area to be nice and dewy. Let's just use a little bit of corrector. If you have dark circles or uneven skin tone, you always want to use a color corrector. I don't do this particularly every day in my daily life because the dark circles and the uneven skin tone is much more prominent on camera because of these lights. But otherwise, in my everyday life, I don't need to. But on camera, I feel like it looks much better in pictures and it looks much better on video. So I always like to color correct on camera. I'm using the pack 218 brush to blend that. Now for foundation, I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I have been so obsessed with this foundation. But let's be honest, it's just way too much by itself. It is incredible coverage. It'll just make you look like a blank canvas. 
So I do enjoy mixing it with a few things. I have been absolutely loving mixing it with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I take one pump of this and a little bit of this and I mix both of them together and I love the result. So it still has that incredible coverage but it doesn't look cakey and has more of a dewy finish which I love. I love how perfectly this matches me. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape. I am in the shade Light Medium. And I like to kind of get the sides of my nose because that kind of brings it in and makes it look smaller. It's a great sneaky trick to contour your nose. To bake, of course, I'm going to be using my favorite powder, the RCMA No Color Powder. Okay, so as you can see, I've done the same thing with powder and my nose. I know this is too much makeup, you guys, but I was just in the mood for full coverage, full glam. When am I not though? Okay, so after letting it sit on my skin for five minutes, I'm just going to take a dual fiber brush to wipe it off. Now I'm going to take the pack 335 brush and the L'Oreal Infallible Compact in the shade Sand Beige. I'm just going to pick it up and apply it all over my face, barely touching my skin because I don't want to move anything underneath. Just to make sure the rest of my face is covered and set. So I just scrubbed the foundation off of my lips because I hate getting foundation on my lips. And I did my brows and for my brows I used the Benefit Cabrow in the shade 03 and the Pack Eyebrow Palette. And in this I used the shade over here. It's called Chocolate. previous rose gold palette this one does not have a mirror and here is the new one so you can see the difference between both the palettes there's not much difference there's a little bit of a difference in the shimmery colors then the pink one is a little bit more pink in the new palette I already loved the previous one so let's see what I can do with this one one thing that I'm noticing straight away is that I'm missing this kind of shade in the new palette this is the shade Bay it was the shade in the previous palette I like using such shades to kind of use as a base all over my lid but there is no such shade in the new palette so I'm a little bit sad about that so yeah, but there's still lots of amazing colors in the new one. So let's see what we can do with this one. I'm gonna start with the shade called Sandalwood. Oh, it's quite pigmented. Okay, that is super pigmented. Definitely need a bigger blending brush to blend all of that. It's super pigmented. Now let's go on to Henna. You definitely want to dust these off, they're quite pigmented and you can see there's a little bit of fallout which honestly doesn't bother me with any kind of eyeshadows but just keep that in mind and keep a brush like this handy. Oh my god, this is crazy. I'm just going to go back to my compact powder and pick it a little bit on my bigger blending brush just to help blend the edges. Now taking a smaller brush, I'm going to pick up Coco and that is going in the outer corner and in the crease. I'm going to go back to sandalwood and the first brush I used to help blend up top because we never want harsh lines. Bigger blending brush, face powder, and just blend the top part. Do I want to use black? I feel like I want to use just a touch of black. So I'm going to use the same tiny brush and pick up black truffle now. 
be very careful with black eyeshadow just pick up a very very small amount and dust off most of it so you can build it up on your eye because you never want to end up with too much on your eye you just cannot take it off it is next to impossible so just start really really slow and now i'm just going to go back to coco the darker brown kind of shade and apply that over top just to make sure the black is nice and blended go back to your previous brushes and blend now that we have that nice blend of mattes down i'm going to go on to shimmer i like doing my mattes first and shimmer after because if you do your shimmer before you do your mattes and then you blend everything will just blend together and this definition won't be there and i like having that definition in the outer corner and having that defined bold matte color in the crease i don't like shimmer in the crease so i like doing my shimmer work after i'm done with the mattes so now we have beautiful shimmery shadows over here there are three more shimmers and then there are all of these i'm so so confused i know i want to use the bai but i want to use something in the inner corner to brighten it up let's go with a mixture of blessed and trust fund i'm going to take my mac 242 just wet it a little bit and i'm picking up blessed on it and just doing my inner corner just doing a little bit of a cut crease in the inner corner just going to pick up some the bai that is going right in the middle I love how that looks. Now I'm going to use the pack long lasting coal pencil in the shade black. And to do my wing, I'm going to use my Sigma Lineace in Legend. Now for lashes, I'm just going to apply the Huda Beauty Sashas along with the Huda Beauty lash glue. Now for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take the pack coal pencil, the long lasting coal pencil in the shade coffee, and I've already lined my lower lash line with that. So now I'm gonna take the pack two or two pencil brush and just help smudge that in. Now I'm gonna take henna on the same brush and just buff all of that out. Now on a sponge tip applicator I'm going to take the bai and that is going in the inner portion. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara on my lower lashes. Okay, so the eyes are now done. Let's come back to the face. For my bronzer I'm going to use Benefit Hoola and you can see I've hit a little bit of a pan in that. I can see the pan. I'm so happy. I love hitting pan on products. Now for blush I'm going to use NARS Torrid. For highlighter I'm going to use my Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette. This is in the shade Pink Sands. Highlighter is so pretty. I love this shade. Now that all the bronzing and highlighting is done, I'm going to take the NYX eyebrow mascara in the shade chocolate just to set the brows. For the lips I'm going to use Huda Beauty lip contour in Venus. And 
for my lipstick, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade Sugar Mama. Okay, now it's time to fix everything in place and for that I'm using the Pack Micro Finish Makeup Fixer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Honestly, this look is just, I am just so happy. It is so delicious and bronzy and bronze eyes and nude lips are like my religion. It makes me feel like me. Like this look is me. But I'm also a little bit of a winged liner and a red lip kind of girl. But I think this look makes me feel the best. I'm honestly super happy with how this look turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I love how this look is super wearable. You can wear it to weddings and parties and functions. And whenever I'm wearing more of these neutral looks, I always get bombarded with requests. Because I know even though I may do a lot of neutral looks, you guys actually enjoy these looks and they're more wearable. And please don't feel like you need to use the exact same products that I'm using. You can just improvise and recreate this makeup up look with whatever products you have at home. If you did like my video, please don't forget to share it with your friends and family. I have a huge giveaway planned for you all whenever I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So please make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on my videos. And if you want to be notified, please remember to click the bell next to the subscribe button. Leave your comments down below telling me what other looks you guys would like to see because definitely makeup tutorials are one of my favorite videos to film. I love being creative. I love putting a look together and just, I don't know, I love makeup tutorials. So leave your video requests down below. I'd love to hear it from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you super soon in my next one. Bye-bye.